neither is the man without the woman or the woman without the man. But dating is a messy, dangerous, scary, terrible, horrible, fun. No good, very bad day. Thing. Good. Our church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, has counseled against dating before you're 16. Um, Why, though? Being, um, what if you, you know, like somebody? Well, I think if you like someone, but you're 14, um, at least I know when I was 14, I had a huge crush on Victoria. <laughs> Um, and, I, and she noticed me, mm -hmm. and then she invited me to Brooke Knight's birthday party. And I was like, oh my gosh, you got invited to Brooke Knight's birthday party? I was like one of the cool kids. And guess what? I didn't know what I was doing. I did nothing about it. I was actually so nervous to even like touch her hand. At one point, I remember when I had the opportunity, and I was like, <laughs> so shaking. So I was like, ah, Victoria. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it wasn't like, I didn't know what I was doing, right? right? So imagine like putting like kissing and like romantic emotions involved when I am totally not developed and have no idea what's going on. That may not be the most mentally healthy thing for me later on in life. Quake who's a convert. So, fortunately, right. fortunately or unfortunately. Yes, when I was dating 14-year-olds. When I was 14 dating 14-year-olds, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was not Mormon at the <laughs> Wow! The, the, the point is, Justin, you, you were raised I, in the church, I was, right? So, I was raised in the church, and, and I grew up in a, in a small farm town where there, I, there's very few members. You know, so same for me. Yeah, and so majority of people, and I remember getting asked all the time. Um, I don't know, and just like the little games like kids play, you know, where it's like, hey, like, uh, can I give you a kiss? Like this little girl came up to me, like, can I give you a kiss? And I'd be like, no way, I don't date till I'm 16. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, why? Why? And I'd be like, my church has counseled that, and I just <laughs> give them this whole spiel, and they'd be like. What? <laughs> but I was just so determined because the prophets have counseled us not to really go on any serious dates before we're 16 because at that point we're not really ready for any like romantic relationships or not mature enough yet. I mean, you could be, but it's just safer, you know. What does yeah. the Strength for Youth pamphlet actually say? Like, let's let's I've got it. You right got it. Right re let's read exactly <laughs> what the, count and the prophets have counseled. I quote: "You should not date until you are at least 16 years old." There you go. <laughs> so a lot of people look at that uh, phrase in, in the Strength of Youth pamphlet and they say, wow, a bunch of old white guys gave us this, this uh, rule that we have to keep. They're, they're out of touch. I got that all the time growing up. But we are three young, two-thirds white guys. <laughs> and we're saying that this is good advice. We're not all it's that much older than, than 16. I'm a, I'm a we're, decade we're older than 16. We're pretty But the point is, is that it's a, you, when you grow up, your body starts changing. Oh, God. <laughs> and, and the chemicals birds and the bees. And hormones start coursing through your veins. And you're and just a ticking time bomb. And for, uh, you're a ticking time, tickin time bomb, bomb for mistakes. For mistakes. That, that you will regret for... What Your it comes life. down to is there's a line. It's the line of chastity. And this counsel from the prophets keeps us far away from that line. And it's good advice. And your parents are right when they tell you to follow this advice. Listen to them. Oh, gosh, I'm old. Here's, here's a question, though. Yeah. What is the definition of a date? Because you can say, uh, don't go on dates until you're 16, but... There could be 15 year olds like, all right, I'm just gonna go hang out with her mm. or go hang out with them. So what's the difference between a date and like, wh how do we know, how do you differentiate? Because you can have friends. Mm -hmm. you, can have, you should have friends of the opposite sex before you're 16. You don't wanna, that'd be weird if you didn't, you know, so. Can I just yeah. read this? Go I'm gonna it. continue because it, it's, okay. it's, they word it so well. When you begin dating, go with one or more additional couples, avoid going on frequent dates with the same person, developing serious relationships too early in life can limit the number of other people you meet and can perhaps lead to immorality. Mm. Invite your parents to become acquainted with those you date. Wow, yeah, that, see, I do the same thing. I don't go on too many dates with one girl. You know, you gotta mix it up. You gotta jump around a bit, you well, know? Wait, well, okay, so, no, you're missing, okay, let me get a... <clears throat> as you enter your adult years, making dating and marriage is a high priority. Seek a companion who is worthy to go to the temple to be sealed to you for time and all eternity. 
So you get something was so, distracting me. What, so, what can you hear? Um, adult was... years are a little different because um, <laughs> you're looking for an eternal companion. Teenage years, though, it's meeting as many people as you can to learn about yourself, learn about them, learn it's true. what you're looking uh, for. You know, but men, we mature, you know, not as fast. So really, we're <laughs> still teenagers uh, by maturity. I, so. yeah. I mean, I, I can... <laughs> No, no, but that's, that. that's the thing. What is the definition of a date? Because you can hang out. If you have a crush on someone, we're not, we're not saying you can't, you know, be around that person you have a crush on. Um, so I don't actually mm-hmm. know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what where that line is. I think, and that's something that you can get trapped in in your, in your schooling days, youngins. Well, for instance... Oh, hello, <laughs> fellow children. <laughs> <laughs> for instance... For me, I really liked a girl, and of course I would hang out with her because I really liked her. I was past the age of 16, um, and so we did go on some dates, but I still didn't want to have, like, an actual relationship. Um, but, but it became one of those, like, quasi-relationships where you're both like, are we dating? Are we in a relationship? But, like, no one said anything. And so it is... It, it's it's important to like. It's funny how much that doesn't change when you get when you turn twenty one, really right? Well, and see that's the thing is we don't know how to handle it when we're teenagers. Like, oh no, we don't know how to handle it now. Yeah, you know, but in the let 20s, alone when yeah. you're like a teenager in high school and stuff, it uh, just adds a lot more stress. But if you're if you're pairing off with someone, if you're alone with someone of of the opposite gender that you're you're interested in, uh, you're, you're in you're in date territory. Is that? If it's, it's oh no 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 I know this if if it's planned oh yeah if it's paid for is that one of them planned the three P's plan if it's planned paid for and you're paired off with someone then chances are it's a date don't do it before you're 16 and when you are 16 that is not just like free reign on you know relationship heaven like you, once you hit 16 you shouldn't just jump into a relationship. It says, don't start dating until you're at least 16, right? Yeah. And, and don't get in a relationship until I Well, I think, I think people, I mean, I know people, um, especially like teenagers, were in love with the idea of being in love. Mm. And so we're just really yeah. excited about Twilight. like, yeah, exactly. Like, oh, like something romantic or infatuation and you just kind of jump on that. Yeah. But, but sadly, I mean, in a serious note, it can lead to a lot of trouble. Yeah. I, I, I want to I wanna yeah. say... Um, I, this is a counsel I, I wish I had when I was in high school. And, and uh, even past the 16 mark, like not going on serious dates with one person. In high school, I had a terrible <laughs> taste in the people I wanted to date. In the girls mm-hmm. I was into, a terrible taste. I dated girls who were not good for me, who were, like, looking back, did some straight up, like, mentally and emotionally abusive things. Like, things that were sure. just not okay, right? Or whatever. Very, very mm-hmm. bad. And, like, or looking back, I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I put up with that, like, over and over again. And it does a number on you. It does it does actually harm you. So that counsel really could have protected me. Had I done, and I said I, I wouldn't be seriously dating someone. Because um, God is looking out for you. You know, these are very important years when you're, you're, develop, you're figuring out who you are. You're figuring out who, what you believe in, mm-hmm. um, what your talents are. Like, you're really becoming a person. And so that um, emotional and mental trauma that can be put on there is it does go a long way. And ro- right. romance and, like, love is a very, like, it's a very thick thing. It's, like, it's real. It's real. And when it goes south, it goes south hard. Right. Uh, so and, and a lot of people, especially in high school, base a lot of their self-image and self-worth off of, if I'm not dating someone, well, then I must not be worth dating, you know? Yeah. Or if I don't have a really cute boyfriend or girlfriend, then I must suck. I know that attitude is all over, like, high school drama. Oh, my gosh. And so yeah. if, you're just, if you're just not worrying about that, you really can focus on being a happy you, mm-hmm. you know, and an individual. And your studies. Focus on your study. Dad, stop. Do your homework. <laughs> Dad. We're going to talk about these hormones again, coursing <laughs> through your veins, because they're there, and they're coursing. And they're going to make you want to do things that you shouldn't do. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Those hormones are going to make you want to date people, okay? That's just the biology of it. But it pays to wait. Hmm. For all the reasons Kwaku mentioned and all the reasons Justin mentioned, it, it 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 doesn't make sense biologically, but 
In every other sense, it makes sense to wait. Please, for the love of all that is good, follow this counsel from the prophets. This is really funny. So there was a girl, I was kind of same situation as you, David, where it's like, I'm in high school, there's a girl I really liked, um, and we just hang out a lot, and it was like really fun, but we were like super flirty and stuff. But I was like, I didn't want to hold any girl's hand, I didn't want to kiss a girl until after my mission. Because I'm like, what's the point? I'm gonna save this like for a meaningful relationship. I'm not just gonna throw my affection around. And and so this girl, I, just, I was remember just praying one day and I just felt like, oh yeah, I probably shouldn't be so serious. So I told her, I was like, mm, I don't, like I do like you, but I don't think we should date. She got really mad, really sad, you know, because she was hoping that we would be a thing or whatever. Then a week later, she starts dating my best friend who turned out not to be such a good friend. Oh. And, and I realized, wow, you protected me because she was kind of crazy to do that, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, wow, like I'm glad I followed that counsel because that probably would have been unhealthy. Mm-hmm. So I was just like a f- little example of, it's just easier, you know, a lot less drama. The purpose of dating is to eventually find the person that you want to marry. And I, I, I did that, I got married. <laughs> we get it, you're I married, got, so, we get it, all right? I, I didn't know I was better than you guys. Just kidding. That's a quote. That's a quote from a movie. Boy, that's a, that's a that's a cultural thing about. That was really mean. Don't. Put that in there. <laughs> Can we be done with this episode? Listen, sixteen-year-olds. I know that you were like, I can't wait for the three Mormons to tell us that you can date before you're sixteen, but. We didn't tell you that. The thing is, it really will protect you. I personally know that it will protect you. I have a testimony of that because of the horrible (laughs) relationships I had in high school that Loki scarred me. So I want you guys to be protected. Follow the Lord's counsel. He has spoken to the modern prophets to tell you that you should wait to protect your heart, to protect your body, to protect your mind because relationships are a wonderful thing, but early on, it can hurt. Or it'll last for like two weeks and you'll forget about them. (laughs) Uh, Be sure to (laughs) like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, do the follow on on the Twitter. On Instagram Instagram. and Twitter. Hit the notification bell to be notified when our videos come up. Comment on anything. Except for you, Jim (laughs) Caponzi. By the way, just know, no, Mormon girls are not jealous of Catholic girls' looks. I don't even know where you're getting that from. (laughs) If (laughs) If you disagree with us, Comment, because we'd love to talk it out with you. So we can prove you wrong. Brutal. Just kidding. Brutal. (laughs) But if you disagree, yeah, we'd love to talk it out with you, because we've all been there, and we know it's a tough tough phase to go through, so maybe we can help. Yeah.